Izu Nwama, founder of Hexavia, joins me now to share his perspectives and some of the top stories we presented earlier. Great to have you on the show, Izu. I know you had some challenges getting into the studio. <laughs> yeah. But our top story today has changed a bit. We're, we're talking about CBN and the announcement that came out from the office of the president last night yeah. uh, that the central bank governor had been suspended. So my, my first question to you is, what is the likely market reaction to this? We probably won't really find out till, till Tuesday because Monday is a public holiday in Nigeria. But what are your thoughts on how the markets will react? Honestly, because the CBN's main fundamental role is regulation, right? So um, um, I think the first thing would be a lot of indifference, right? Because um, I think that's really what it is. Anyone who's trying to jump into any of the monetary policies might, a key stakeholder, that might be a factor. But then for just general every guy on, every person on the street, I'm, I'm, I feel like it's very indifferent. There's too much, but we're overhyping the impact of that, at least for the next one, two weeks. I'm really more interested in who the next CBN governor would be. But in terms of uh, the suspension, because that's very predictable. Mm. We saw that coming. I mean, this is the first time you're having the CBN governor who's basically picking a ticket to run and then all of that back thing. So we all expected it. So the market has already reacted, honestly. So there isn't anything strategic about that. I think what's strategic is what's next. Yeah. That's really what everyone... So, so what, what is next? I mean, what is the profile of a CBN governor we need in times like this when, of course, we saw President Tinubi allude to the need to clean up monetary policy. What is the ideal profile or thrust of a CBN governor who comes at the helm of that institution in economic times, in challenging times like this? Honestly, it has to be someone who's in tune with digital natives, right? The uh, digital natives, natives yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah, the, the current CBN governor already, um, the current acting CBN governor now, right, already has a stint around NIBS, um, that's the interbanking policies and all that. But more importantly, I think we're looking for an economist. For the first time, we really need to have an economist, not just a banking and finance executive. Explain that rational but, to um, our viewers. No, someone who's an economist means someone who basically has a first and second degree in economics, someone who's real grounded in economics, not just a formal bank MD or, because that's sort of like, has been a trend in, in, in a very recent time, on ED, but mm. that's good because you still need that. You know, I've only said that the regulators are not as fast as the practitioners. The fundamental role of the, gov of the CBN, right, is to regulate the practitioner, which are the banks, any type of banks you want to look at. So I think that's one. And then more than ever, we need direction, right? The, don't, don't forget that the world have moved past the brick and mortar banking policies and monetary policies. You have someone who can tap into a lot of stuff. I mean, we, see the, we saw the failure in the e-Naira policy, for example, right? That was something that wasn't properly executed. And even the cashless policies and all that type of stuff. And then the, the change of Naira, the Naira design. But I think it has to be someone who's very in tune with the digital natives one, who's an economist, who can take direction and totally out of that politics. I, I think the, our last CBN governor was more interested in politics than actual um, um, ec economics of the economy. So I think that that's important first before anything else. And of course, influence someone who can um, sort mm. of be a real leader, just basically being yeah. influence. Yeah, I mean, things. it's interesting you mentioned your your view that it should be an economist um, as opposed to a former banker, because financial system stability is quite key, although some of the deputy governors mm. of the CBN obviously have specialist areas. So we'll see how that pans out. But I, I want to talk a bit now about what the shape and future of monetary policy. You know, we understand the challenges around the exchange rate, interest rates, but how do you think that interaction with monetary policy and what the government does from a fiscal perspective will pan out, given the situation we're in now? Yeah, there's an interdependence. We put too much pressure on uh, monetary policy, but they are just basically like a yin-yang. There's monetary policy on one end and there's fiscal policy on the other end. So why we put a lot of pressure on monetary policy, I feel like the government direction should be really around fiscal policy. Personally, I'm more interested in who the FRS boss would be more than who the CBN we boss would be. We just talked about tax <laughs> right, right tax, now. Right, tax, yes, because yeah. the government basically has to think that they used to drive three functions of the government. Government only has three functions when it comes to economics. And that's one, right? Try to keep interest rates and inflation stable, right? At least predictably stable so people can make plans. And then the second one is also around GDP and productivity, mm. right? And the third one is to reduce unemployment. So, but the funny thing about it is, um, I think if you ask me, that um, the CBN, the, the new CBN direction should really be around trying to unify the interest rate. Of course, everyone said that several times, right? But it's really important because what happened was we were living in a parallel universe in the last eight mm. years, right? People who had connections could get access to Forex at a lower rate and then people who didn't, right, has to now hustle for, for dollars all around. That needs to stop fundamentally. I think that that's the first thing that we need to have. So mm. unification of the, the interest rate is really important. 
And then, right, there's a lot of licenses that went, that there's too many licenses flying all over the place all through the last eight years, right? Then there has to be some level of house cleaning, like okay. um, Tunumbu said. I think that's yeah. fundamentally important. So, it? of course, other stories in Niger, the TUC seeking the minimum wage, we don't really have to dwell too much on this because I wanted us to talk about yeah. the Apple story and, and potentially China. Hopefully I can get more time <laughs> from the studio. But your thoughts on, on the minimum wage bid by the TUC? I see that Edo State have increased theirs to 40,000 naira yeah. per month. Yeah, but there's a lot of math around that. As proportionality is directly proportional to inflation, and that's what people don't realize. Because once you have a higher uh, minimum wage, what that means is that everybody just has to sort of increase wages. And what that does, two things. First, it's a dent on unemployment. I'm using the every guy on the street. If you tell me to increase, if I have to increase salaries, I have to probably cut down the number of people who work mm. in my company. That's one. And then I, I think one of the key things that would happen is a sort of like a, a um, cost a cost push inflation type of model because what's going to happen is that everyone has to sort of increase their pricing so that affects the average guy on the street but it's good for the economy in the end right because there'll be more money to spend that's the first part but the side effect of more money to spend is that there'll be higher inflation so um if you ask me right um is the right thing to do there's no other way to do it it's just the the economics in itself is very uh, i'm trying to find the word it's self self-correctional that's what people don't realize, that the fundamental economics is self-correctional. Co 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 you know, the higher the, 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 the quantity demanded, right, what happens? You know, the price goes up and all of that demand and supply stuff. So the good thing about it is that everyone's going to recalibrate, right? But for the short run, mm. you're going to have high inflation until there is a um, circular flow of income. Yeah. income. It's self-correcting. If people understand that economics is self-correcting, what it does, it reduces the panic because I think there's a psychological effect. Of right? course, we saw that with the fuel prices yes, panic and the buying. subsidies, panic buying. Panic buying yeah. is a psychological effect. So I think what we need to do now, and that's something I was going to say with the uh, new CBN governor, it has to be a better communicator. Right, because communication is one of those things. So the market reacts based on speculation. And confidence, yes, actually. Confidence. So yeah. you've got to be able to have, I, we haven't mm. seen that since um, maybe the days of Sanusi and them, but it's important yeah. that you have a CBN governor that is, and a monetary policy that is backed by proper communication. We saw what happened when there was scarcity of cash. It was poor communications in the end, right? Mm. So I think that that's really what's Yeah, just, thank you for those insights. And, and very quickly, Apple's new Vision Pro virtual augmented reality. I'm yeah. sure Steve Jobs would be turning happily in his grave at this. <laughs> what are your thoughts and reaction to this new device? It's almost a decade since Apple actually had a real invention, right? right. You know, they just kept giving us the versions, as Pro Max versions of the old product. Sure. So that's good, right? Um, first things first is $3,500. $3, that's a whooping amount. Right, that's a, mm -hmm. So the only people who are going to embrace it first would be that um, there's a theory around diffusion models, right? So um, the first people that would embrace it, sadly, are not the ones that have the most cash. Mm -hmm. That's the innovators and inventors, all those guys in the rooms. I don't see the average guy who's carrying, an, uh, say, an Apple Watch or a phone jumping on it. First of all, I think it's a bulky device one. But I, I'm more concerned about the differentiation they're going to bring. But Apple's two key words has always been differentiation and innovation. So I'm sure they're good with that. Um, one of the things I think they need to do is to redesign, redefine what it does, right? Because in the past, we've had a lot of failures around that. Don't forget that um, Reban, the, the premium brand, Reban, yeah. had had a stint around a augmented reality type glasses and it failed, right? Mm. And of course, you had the Google um, glasses as well. So I think that what they might have to sell it as would be as a spatial, right, reality to um, um, the already existing technology. We want to see how we interact more with Apple wristwatches, with Apple yeah. phones, and more importantly, the MacBook. If they sell it at that, it would really be good. But uh, um, just like every first um, first stage or early stage invention, it won't be the best until you start to have the version two, three, four, five. It sort of reminds me of when the Apple I iPod came first, right? It wasn't a hugely embraced. Matter of fact, it might have been forced into what you call today's iPhone. I, I always say that iPhone is an iPod with a SIM card in it. So yeah. I hope to see what that transition becomes. So it's a transitional um, invention, like what infrared was to mm. Bluetooth. You of know, course. infrared paved the way. So we're, we're going to see probably more refinement. And in fact, the anti-Apple camp will tell you this is just another ploy to lock <laughs> Apple fans <laughs> further into the technology Absolutely. of this, this tech giant. Uh, thank you so much for sharing those uh, insights with us, Izu. Great to have you on the show, as always. Yeah. Thank you.